Welcome back, East Asian lovers. Do you remember our previous documentary for Japanese horror folklore? If you enjoyed it, then today we'll take you through the Korean horror folklore. Korean folklore is rich with various tales and myths, including a significant number of horror stories that have been passed down through generations. The horror aspect of Korean folklore often centers around supernatural creatures, ghosts, and unexplained phenomena, often incorporating moral lessons or warnings about particular behaviors. These stories have been passed down for centuries and continue to influence modern Korean culture, including K-dramas, literature, and entertainment. The Gumiho in the isolated village, the legend of the Gumiho reigns supreme, whispered fervently around firesides and shared with wide-eyed children. But as the moon ascended and shadows stretched across the cobblestone streets, the haunting melody of a flute would slice through the silence. Menacing yet entrancing, the haunting tune was the harbinger of her arrival a spectral melody that weaved its way into the dreams of unsuspecting souls. Under the cover of night, the Gumio emerged, her radiant beauty basking in the moon's glow, her sable hair cascading like a silken waterfall down her graceful figure. Her presence was hypnotic, her eyes aglow with an otherworldly luminescence that held the villagers in thrall. They whispered of her alluring charm, that ensnared the hearts of men, drawing them closer, oblivious to the sinister truth concealed behind her flawless facade. A certain young farmer, drawn by her ethereal beauty, found himself ensnared in her beguiling aura. He followed her through the woods, enticed by her alluring whispers that echoed with promises of forbidden pleasures. Unbeknownst to him, the path he treaded was one leading to his demise. As the villagers awoke to the first light, they discovered the farmer's absence, the only remnants of his existence, a bloodied, torn garment left in the woods. Rumors of his fate spread like wildfire. His tale a cautionary reminder of the Gumiho's insatiable hunger for human hearts. In the wake of the farmer's disappearance, a pall of dread settled over the village. The once bustling streets turned desolate after dusk, shutters clattering closed as the sun dipped below the horizon. Fear hung heavy in the air, a pervasive fog that stifled laughter and froze hearts. The elders warned the youth to stay within the safety of their homes their voices laden with the weight of the Gumio's curse. They cautioned against the allure of the night, where the shadows concealed not only the sinister presence of the fox spirit, but also the echoing whispers of the restless souls ensnared by her beauty. Yet, despite the fear that gripped the village, the haunting melody of the flute continued to weave its melodic tune through the still night air. It beckoned to the curious and the unsuspecting, drawing them ever closer to the edge of peril. Rumors began to swell, stories of fleeting glimpses of the Gumio haunting the fringes of the forest, her laughter like tinkling bells floating through the trees. Those who dared venture too close spoke of an inexplicable chill in the air a sense of impending doom that sent them fleeing back to the safety of the village. Each night, the moon rose higher, casting an ethereal glow upon the landscape, but its luminance only accentuated the pervasive fear. The village became a prisoner to its own terror, the Gumio's presence an ever-looming specter that cast a foreboding shadow upon their once tranquil existence. Even the bravest souls succumbed to trepidation, their resolve faltering as the sinister tales of the Gumio's ravenous appetite for human hearts haunted their dreams. The once vibrant community was shackled by fear, its people held captive by the inescapable horror that prowled in their midst. The legend of the Gumio, with its web of enchantment and terror, had transformed the village into a haunted realm 
where the line between reality and nightmare blurred. A chilling reminder of the price paid for succumbing to the seduction of the supernatural. A timeless cautionary tale echoing through the ages. Jiangsan Tiger In the shroud of nightfall, the howls of the Jiangsan Tiger reverberated through the craggy valleys, a spectral symphony that struck terror into the hearts of all who dared to listen. This phantom beast, said to be the vengeful spirit of a tiger that once roamed the Jiangsan Mountain, was shrouded in mystery and fear. Local lore recounted tales of hikers and wanderers who, lured by the tiger's spectral calls mimicking the cries of loved ones, found themselves ensnared in the mountain's treacherous labyrinth. As the night deepened, their voices mingled with the phantom roars, swallowed by the darkness and never to be heard from again. Footprints inexplicably leading into the craggy peaks appeared without a trace of return marking the passage of those who vanished without explanation. The villagers murmured of a swirling mist that enveloped the mountain, an otherworldly fog masking the nefarious intent of the tiger's spirit. Even the bravest souls dared not tread upon the shadowed paths that wound through the Jiangsan Mountain, where the trees swayed in eerie harmony to the ghostly symphony echoing through the valley. Legends spoke of the restless tiger, its spectral form prowling the rocky cliffs, haunting those who dared venture too close. One particular tale lingered in the whispers. A woodcutter, drawn by the distant calls of a lost soul, ventured forth into the treacherous embrace of the mountain's depths. His axe clutched tightly in his hand, he vanished beyond the reaches of human sight, leaving only the echo of his futile screams. The villagers, paralyzed by fear, prayed for his safe return, but knew in their hearts the cruel reality, that he had succumbed to the chilling destiny that awaited those who answered the siren call of the Jiangsan Tiger. As the whispers of the Jiangsan Tiger's eerie calls echoed through the mountain, the village's fear swelled to an oppressive weight. The community, once tightly knit, now lived in the shadow of the looming peaks, haunted by the tales of vanished souls and the spectral predator that prowled the cliffs. In a desperate attempt to quell the supernatural unrest, the village elders sought guidance from the wise men and spiritual leaders. They performed ancient rituals, lit incense, and chanted prayers to ward off the vengeful spirit, seeking to restore peace to the land. However, the ominous aura surrounding the Jiangsan Mountain only seemed to deepen, as if the efforts to appease the spectral tiger only further provoked its wrath. Whispers grew more frantic, stories twisted and embellished, each retelling more chilling than the last. Soon, a somber pall draped over the village, an unshakable dread that seeped into every corner of daily life. Homes were shuttered early, and the warmth of community gatherings was replaced by the chilling uncertainty of what lurked in the darkness beyond. The mountain, once a place of natural beauty and a source of livelihood, became a foreboding presence, a dark specter lurking on the edges of their existence. Those who once tread its paths with joy now avoided it at all costs their fear feeding the legend of the Jiangsan Tiger, perpetuating the cycle of terror. In whispered conversations in the flickering glow of hearth fires, the tale of the Jiangsan Tiger lived on, a testament to the village's plight. It was a haunting reminder of the consequences of curiosity and the unfathomable mysteries that loomed beyond the safety of the village's boundaries, a legend that would endure continuing to cast a chill pall over the land for generations to come.